Welcome to Warrior Wednesday. Are you selling out on your dreams? Do you have an inspiration? Do you have something within you? You feel that you are called for more. If that is you, I'm excited for you because this message is for you. All right, welcome to Warrior Wednesday. It is Wednesday, July 13th, halfway through the beginning of the third quarter I had to think about that for a moment so we're in q3 everyone uh, as i'm working with several cl clients about their goals hitting their declarations hitting their goals all that good stuff so we're almost halfway through the month for q3 i'm excited for you and i'm here to connect with you on whether you're selling out on your dreams so a pattern that i'm seeing in my experience uh, and before I go into that I want to say if you're on here live say hello say what's up and we catch the replay comment with hashtag encore let me know you're here and and uh, really I have a message I want to share with you this will likely be brief however I want to share this message with you to inspire you with the intention of course of inspiring you to taking action on not selling out on your dreams that's my intention all right so if you have a dream um, I would love to hear from you what is that dream what is the vision that you have what is the dream you, you feel called to do more like I'll share with you many years ago over five years ago I was in a corporate setting where I was doing corporate consulting and in that corporate consulting uh, position you know you know corporate consulting you make really good money obviously right so however there was a part of me that was unfulfilled so if that's you if you feel that if you connect with that say yes that's me I feel unfulfilled whatever you could be in a career you're unfulfilled and you could be in a relationship you're unfulfilled and you could be in anything you're unfulfilled and if that is you say yes that is me because I was there many years ago and I know exactly what it feels like to feel um, that you're putting in a lot of effort but you're inside you feel like you're dying from the inside so if that's you just say it's you because I've been there I know exactly what that feels like so um, my 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 uh, intention is that you get to ignite that dream whatever that dream is that you have and what you get to do uh, in order to create that is you get to be connected to what is it that you want what is it that you want that you feel inspired to uh, create what is the more because like I know for me many years ago and even like as I'm coaching many of my clients there's something missing and a lot of times like we get to really get connected to what is it that's missing for us for us to make a plan if you will create a roadmap and close the gap with that you know what I'm saying and so and so what is that for you like for me I know uh, I had a vision several years ago where um, I was sick and tired of commuting I'm being really honest with you guys so you guys can connect with where where I'm at so when I was in corporate over five years ago I was commuting long distance so I would go to the city I would go to South Jersey I would go in different parts I would travel which I didn't mind traveling by any means however I did mind the over one hour commute one way so that translated into two plus hours of commuting which honestly if you think about it commuting takes up a lot of energy because even if you're in the car driving it just takes up t it takes up time also takes up energy so my vision at the time was um, I, I, w I wanted to work from home I just did not want to be in a space we're always commuting you know what I'm saying um, because I wanted the time freedom I wanted to have more time to do more things that were important to me like going to the gym doing new things practicing new stuff like you know learning acting doing all these other activities right and so I shared this with you because that was a vision I had and I was I built that vision so where I am today and I was actually reflecting on this this morning and this is this is actually what I want for you is one of my visions was to be an entrepreneur which I am I've been an entrepreneur entrepreneur for several several years um, my vision also was to create my own schedule which was something that I got to transition and build over over multiple years and I that vision I know like many years ago I didn't believe it was possible and I was about to settle for something that I didn't want you know what I mean? So if that's you, say that's me. Like, you know, are you going to sell out on your dream? I was going to sell out on that dream because I didn't, part of me didn't feel it was possible. Part of me felt it was hard. Part of me felt it was a challenge. It was an obstacle. Uh, there were things that I couldn't get over. Like, you know, we all have limiting beliefs. We all have blind spots, including myself. And there were things that I knew that in my heart I had to overcome 
and have a have a breakthrough in in order for me to create the reality I wanted to create. Same thing with my physical well being, like my physical my physique. <clears throat> I, I that was a, that was a journey in itself. So I share this with you. Hi Jack, welcome. Thanks for tuning in, love. I share this with you because you get to not settle for anything less than what you want. That's my message for you for tonight. It's like you get to fight for your dreams. You get to create your dreams and not settle for your excuses, not settle for bullshit. <laughs> well, yeah, I said it's bullshit. Uh, excuses, not settle for limitations, really. Your, your limiting beliefs, belief systems that don't serve you, that, that are not serving you up until this point. So you get to take a step back and get connected to what is it that you really want? Get connected to what is the dream that you want to create? What is the lifestyle you want to create? What is the life you want to create? And build a bridge. Make it happen. Find someone who can support you in making that happen. But don't settle for selling out on your dreams. So we all have dreams. And one of the saddest, the saddest things that can happen to any human being, and I would never want that for anyone, is that you come at the end of your life not fulfilling anything that you want. You know what I'm saying? Like that is a really sad place to be. And most people, if you read about statistics about people who are on their deathbeds, the biggest regret is that they've never taken a risk or they didn't take a risk or they didn't do the things that they knew in their hearts that they were called to do. So my message for you is you know what is it that's in your heart. You know. And so you get to give yourself permission to connect with what that is and find a way and make a plan to make that happen. Do not settle for anything less than your dreams. Go out there, create your dreams, create your vision. Don't settle for your excuses. Don't settle for circumstances. Don't settle for stories. All that, all that stuff is not going to serve you. Ultimately, it's not. All right. So that's a that's a pattern that I've been seeing. Um, a theme I've been seeing this week coaching several of my clients as we're talking about goals and that's why I'm bringing it, bringing it to you because my vision is that you have a breakthrough of course right and so um, in some of the goals like some clients like are um, they're not aiming high for their goals because they're settling you know what I'm saying like they're being comfortable and as as their coach I'm gonna challenge you you know any coach will challenge their clients I, I like to, I love challenging my clients I really do and I love my clients challenging me too I love that too it goes both ways right so I share this with you because if you're if you have a goal that you're playing small and you're playing it safe you get to up level that's number one number two if you're in a space right now where you're settling and selling out on your dreams you get to get connected to your dreams connect with your heart Know what it is that you want and then go out, go after it. Create a plan and go after it. If you need support, message me and I'm happy to support you. All right. So that's your message for today. Share what your biggest dream is. We'd love to hear from you. What is your biggest dream that you've been selling out on? And I don't want you to be like in a shame conversation, blame, shame, none of that. I want you to actually get connected to what is it that you really wanted that was a dream or that is a dream of yours that maybe you did not give yourself permission to deliver, execute, even give yourself permission to dream and even create because anything and everything is possible considering that you get out of your own way and make it happen. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Share your biggest takeaway. Share your biggest dream with me here. would love to connect with you. I appreciate you. And I'll catch you next week on Warrior Wednesday. We are in cancer season. So cancer season is going to be coming to a close in about a week and a half. So a huge shout out to all my cancers out there. I love my cancers. My youngest brother is a cancer. My brother, uh, my youngest brother is a cancer. My dad was a cancer. So got to love up on our cancers. All right. So love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in. Share your takeaway. Share your dream. And I'll catch you next week for Warrior Wednesday. Bye for now. Cheers. Mwah. Lots of love.